Ex-President Robert Kocharyan held a press conference on Thursday and talked about the latest developments in Armenia. Kocharyan noted that he is ready to run in the snap parliamentary elections announced by Prime Minister Nikol Pashinyan. I think I have enough experience, Kocharyan noted, adding that he had never lost in any elections. According to him, Prime Minister Pashinyan must resign, his parliamentary faction must not elect a new prime minister twice, after which snap elections can be launched. Speaking about the recent Nagorno-Karabakh war, Kocharyan said that the war had started because of the Armenian authorities' failure. According to him, the Armenian authorities had been told about the imminent defeat on the fourth day of the war. The OSC Minsk Group is currently a necessity, and Russia also needs it, Kocharyan added. The ex-president said that there are serious grounds to believe that the defeat in the 44-day Artsakh war was planned. He added that the Armenian authorities, hiding behind the military secret, are not talking about the scale of material and human losses in the war, and according to experts, about $3 billion are needed to restore the Armenian army, Kocharyan added. The search that was carried out Wednesday in southern Artsakh did not yield any results as no bodies or remains of fallen soldiers or civilians were found. The search operations continued Thursday in the Juragan or Jabrail and Hadut regions and in the southern part of the Kashata region. Over 1,400 bodies have been found so far. Former Prime Minister Vazge Manukyan, the opposition Homeland Salvation Movement's candidate for Prime Minister, has been charged at the Investigative Committee of Armenia. A signature bond on not leaving the country has been chosen as a precautionary measure against him. He was charged under the Criminal Code article on making public calls aimed at seizing power. Diran Khachadurian, former first deputy chief of the general staff of the Armenian Armed Forces, has appealed to the administrative court to invalidate President Armen Sarkisian's decree on his dismissal. The prime minister's office and the general staff of the armed forces are included in the case as third parties. Based on Prime Minister Nikol Pashinyan's proposal, President Sarkisian dismissed Khachadurian from the aforesaid post by a February 24th decree. Diran Khachadurian was sacked for mocking Prime Minister Pashinyan in connection with the Russian-made Iskander missiles. As of Thursday morning, 491 new cases of COVID-19 were confirmed in Armenia and the total number of these cases has reached 173,307 in the country. Also, six more deaths from the coronavirus were reported, making the respective total 3,208. Health Minister Anait Avanesian said that the COVID-19 cases are on the rise in Armenia. She noted that if imposing of restrictions are wanted to be avoided, it is necessary to wear masks and follow all the rules. 